Hello there, YouTubers. Marcus here, Pipe Beards and Guns. Today, Sunday, it's the time for a little Sunday chat. I was just out walking the dog in the rain, hence the jacket. Tad gear jacket. Really, really nice one. Smoking some Samuel Gavitt Commonwealth in the in my OMS KT209 Fieldmaster. Tried out a few new blends this weekend. I had a friend over this Sunday, uh, no, sorry, Friday, Friday evening. We tried a few blends that, uh, that I had, uh, the ones I have reviewed and so on, which he hadn't tried before and I got to try out a few uh, of his tobacco and this is one of them I really like it it's an English blend I'm so used of uh, seeing you know Samuel Gavitt tobacco as flakes and so I was like first oh, is this a Samuel Gavitt and yeah it is and I don't have a lighter. God damn it. Where the heck is it? Mm. Hang on a minute. I'm back. I have another jacket underneath here, a thin fleece one. It was in that pocket. Almost all the way down in this bowl. So anyway, yeah, this uh, Latakia blend is really, really nice. I have a hard time, you know, comparing it with another blend. I would guess it would be something between uh, Peterson Old Dublin and uh, Maltese Falcon from GLPs. Actually enjoying this one more than GLP's Matisse Falco, which is oddly enough because I, I love that one. But that was uh, my first really English blend I tried out. What more? Yeah. Mm. I tried um, my own blend, River Plug. And wow, dude, I'm a. Uh, I'm really amazed about of that that one because it's uh, it reminds me of a uh, Seattle Pipe Club plum pudding and GLP is quite nice so like a mix in between some people say it's like uh, Mississippi River from from Seattle Pipe Club I haven't tried Mississippi River yet so I don't know but I really liked it, it it's even if it's a plug, it's, I, I guess you could compare it to a, some, a crumble cake of some sort because it's not too tightly pressed, so you can crumble it and still cut slices of it, of course, but it crumbles really, really easy. So it's not like a, like a flake or a, like a really hard plug that you need to, you know, go to the gym to cut a piece off. also try I need to mm. yeah Samuel Gavitt Navy Flake which is quite good as well you know the other ones when you just talk Navy Flake you uh, I compare it to like a McBaron Navy Flake uh, or um, Peter Stockerby Navy Flake but you know there's two different or three different kind of Navy Flakes because this this Samuel Gavit one has leather here in it as well so and the um, Navy Flake from from Peter Stockerby is you know it's a uh, it's a vapor and the McBaron one is you know a mix of bit little bit of everything but it doesn't have a lot of key in it
I have one more flake that I need to try out that I got a little sample bag from my friend and that's the McBaron HH uh, Latakia flake <laughs> it's a lot of Latakia right now well the weather is rainy a bit colder and so on so the Latakia is really you know perfect at the moment so that's about it well, another thing I managed to mess my knee up, my left knee. I don't know what I did. I was out for a run, was it Thursday evening, right? And uh, came back home, or maybe it was, it was Friday, maybe. Friday evening, I don't remember, no Thursday. Came back home sat down at the kitchen table and you know pulled myself in with help of my legs you know as you do when you pull yourself in underneath the table when you're seat seated on the chair and something just tick in my knee and i was like crap i recognized that one i screwed my other knee up uh, in a shooting competition uh, a few years back so you know it might be a bunch of different things but when I did this to my right knee it was actually some some cartilage underneath the patella that came loose and it it moved in such a way that it was in the way of the you know the motion of the knee so you know my knee could pretty much get blocked up and it was quite painful uh, from certain angles if you bent the knee or bent the bent the leg and you know you you sat down and and you may be gonna stand up and then uh, you know it could you get into this specific angle and it was just like ouch so this is a almost the same you know it, it hurt on the front on the knee cap or underneath the knee cap but on the front on the knee and uh, now it started to radiate backwards to my to the other side so I don't know what's up uh, walking is okay I have one of these support thingies uh, on my my leg right now on, over my knee uh, which helps a lot uh, and I guess I need to do some rehab work because I really want to get back to running um, I guess I have to put more more effort to going to the gym now instead of lifting weights while I wait until uh, my knee is uh, you know okay to run on I did try the same day when this happened, stupidly enough, where I didn't run, but I went to a shop nearby a grocery store uh, to pick up some stuff and I took the dog for a walk and I had a backpack on and I did like a really quick walk and actually did a little bit of jogging as well and I didn't really f feel it then, but when I came back home, sat down in the sofa and it, you know, then the, the pain started coming and the ache, so if this doesn't get better in uh, you know um, the coming days i'd probably have to go to uh, to the, the closest little clinic and and uh, have it, have them check it out and maybe get sent to another doctor uh, to uh, you know do an x-ray and whatnot i don't know what they do so that's it with uh, all the stuff about getting old and hurting yourself 41 years of age I guess stuff is getting going downhill a bit quicker so that's why I needed to go back to the gym started training and also started with the running hmm. really nice lighter here got this from uh, from my friend who was over smoking this Friday but I got this like six months ago but I haven't used it a lot but I I bring it sometimes it's really nice a clipper otherwise it's a it's been a calm weekend not too much watching TV going to the big mall my wife bought stuff clothes jeans I did not get anything I think no I did not <laughs> My memory is good but short. Mm.
and the sun comes back. Ugh. I'll see, maybe I'll do another review this uh, evening uh, on the Latakia Flake, so um, stay tuned guys and uh, I'll see you in a bit. And don't do anything stupid, alright? Bye bye.